Have you ever opened an application, visited a website, or even used a piece of software, and it just clicked? It wasn't just functional. It had a certain je ne sais quoi, a feeling, a vibe that made the experience enjoyable, intuitive, almost magical. On the flip side, have you ever battled with clunky interfaces, confusing menus, or just software that feels cold? What's the difference? It often comes down to something developers are increasingly calling vibe coding. So, what is vibe coding? It's not a framework. It's not a new language. It's a philosophy, an approach. At its heart, vibe coding is about injecting intuition, intention, and emotional intelligence into the development process. It's about consciously crafting software that doesn't just work, but also feels a certain way to its users, or even to the developers building it. Think of it as coding with a focus on the atmosphere or the emotional resonance of the software. While the term vibe coding is informal, we can break it down into two primary interpretations. One, crafting the user experience and aesthetic. This is the most common interpretation. It's about designing and implementing interfaces that evoke specific emotions. Joy, calm, excitement, professionalism. It's the subtle animations, the thoughtful color palette, the satisfying haptic feedback on your phone. It's about considering the entire user's journey and ensuring every interaction contributes to a cohesive, positive feeling. Imagine an e-commerce site where the checkout process is so smooth and visually reassuring that you feel confident and excited about your purchase versus one that feels like navigating a tax form. Two, cultivating the developer experience and workflow. But Vibe isn't just for the end user. It also applies to the developer's experience. A well-structured code base, clear documentation, a streamlined development environment, and a supportive team culture. These all contribute to a good vibe for the people building the software. When developers feel good, are unblocked and enjoy their work, the quality of the software often reflects that positive energy. Now for the burning question, is vibe coding applicable only to front-end development? My answer is a resounding, absolutely not. While the vibe is most visibly felt on the front end, the part users directly interact with, the spirit of vibe coding, this focus on intention and positive experience can and should permeate every layer of a software system. Think of it as a ripple effect. One, front end FE, the obvious champion. Yes, front end is where vibe coding shines brightest for the user. Responsive design, smooth animations, intuitive navigation, delightful micro interactions. This is where the user's emotional connection is forged. This is where you create that initial wow factor. Two, backend, BE, the unseen foundation. But what about the backend? While users don't see your APIs or database queries, a good vibe backend means robust, efficient, and reliable systems. A slow, buggy backend will destroy any good front end vibe. For developers, a well-documented, logically structured API with consistent naming conventions creates a much better vibe to work with, making integration smoother and less frustrating. Three, DevOps and infrastructure, stability and confidence. Even in DevOps, a vibe exists, a reliable automated deployment pipeline, clear monitoring and quick recovery from issues. These create a sense of stability and confidence. No developer wants to spend all night debugging a broken deployment because the vibe of the infrastructure is chaotic. Four, data science and machine learning, trust and clarity. In data science, the vibe comes from clear, interpretable models, reproducible experiments, and ethical data handling. If the vibe of your data insights is murky or untrustworthy, their impact is nullified. So yes, while FE is the most visible manifestation, 
Vibe Coding is about bringing mindful, intentional design and development practices to every single layer of your software project. Why bother with Vibe Coding? The benefits are tangible and far-reaching. Improved user satisfaction. Happy users or loyal users. Increased engagement and retention. If an app feels good, people come back. Higher developer morale and productivity. A good internal vibe leads to happier, more efficient teams and less burnout. Reduce technical debt. Clean code, clear architecture. These are products of intentional development, reducing future headaches. Stronger brand identity. A consistent, positive vibe in your software helps define your brand. Ultimately, Vibe Coding is about creating a win-win scenario, delightful experiences for users, and fulfilling work for developers. So if you want to become a Vibe Coder, what skills do you need to cultivate? It's a fantastic blend of technical prowess and soft skills. Part 1. User-Centric Vibe Skills, Mostly Front-End Focused 1. UI UX Fundamentals you absolutely need to understand principles like hierarchy, contrast, alignment, and proximity. Learn about user flows, wireframing, and usability testing. How do users think and feel when interacting with your product? 2. Aesthetic Design Principles This goes beyond just knowing CSS. It's about developing an eye for design, color theory, typography, iconography, and spacing. What combination creates a feeling of luxury, of playfulness, of seriousness? Animation and micro-interactions. The subtle movements, the feedback on a button click, the way a new element slides into view. These are critical for a dynamic and engaging vibe. Mastering CSS transitions, keyframe animations, or JavaScript animation libraries like Greensock is invaluable. Empathy. This is a soft skill, but arguably the most important. Can you put yourself in the user's shoes? Can you anticipate their needs and frustrations? Vibe coding is fundamentally empathetic coding. Technical proficiency, front-end specific. Of course, you need strong HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and a framework like React, Vue, or Angular to actually build these experiences. Part 2. Developer-Centric Vibe Skills. Applicable everywhere. 1. Clean code and architecture. Writing code that's readable, maintainable, and scalable isn't just good practice. It creates a positive vibe for anyone who has to work with it, including your future self. Think about clear variable names, concise functions, and logical module structures. 2. Documentation skills. Good documentation is like leaving breadcrumbs for fellow developers and your future self. It builds confidence and reduces friction. A well-commented API, clear setup instructions. These are crucial for a good developer vibe. 3. Version control mastery. Git. Understanding Git isn't just about saving your work, it's about collaborating smoothly. A clean commit history, logical branching strategies, these contribute to a calm, predictable development environment. 4. Testing and quality assurance. Writing tests might seem tedious, but it builds confidence. Knowing your code works and won't break with new changes creates a secure and positive vibe for the entire team. 5. Communication and Collaboration Software development is a team sport. Being able to articulate your ideas, give and receive constructive feedback, and work harmoniously with others is essential for a positive team vibe. 6. Problem Solving and Debugging The ability to efficiently identify and fix issues contributes to a feeling of competence and control, which is a great vibe for any developer. So how do you become a vibe coder? It's a journey, not a destination. 1. Observe and analyze. Pay attention to the software you use. What makes certain apps feel good? What makes others frustrating? Deconstruct those experiences. 
2. Study design. Even if you're not a designer, learn design principles. Follow designers. Read UI UX blogs. Understand color palettes and typography. This knowledge will elevate your code. 3. Prioritize empathy. Always ask, how will the user feel about this? How will another developer feel working with this code? 4. Practice intentionality. Every line of code, every design choice, make it intentional. Don't just implement. Ask why and how it contributes to the overall experience. 5. Seek feedback. Share your work early and often. User testing, code reviews, feedback loops are crucial for refining the vibe. 6. Build with passion. When you genuinely care about the quality and experience of what you're building, it shows. That passion is the ultimate vibe ingredient. In an increasingly competitive digital landscape, functionality alone is no longer enough. The software that truly stands out, the software that people love and stick with, is the software that understands and delivers a great vibe. It's the software that connects with users on an emotional level, and that's a joy for its creators to build. Vibe coding isn't just a trend. It's a recognition that coding is a creative art form, one that shapes human experience. It's about elevating our craft beyond mere mechanics and infusing it with humanity. What are your thoughts on vibe coding? Have you encountered it in your own work? Let me know in the comments below. If you found this video insightful, please hit that like button, subscribe for more deep dives into the world of development, and share it with a friend who might benefit. Thanks for watching, and keep on creating amazing vibes.